Long ago, in a land you might remember from your dreams, the power of randomness was celebrated by all. Those with dice would roll them to shape their destinies, and the bravest few would challenge each other in games of chance. Epic tournaments, in which their very lives would hang in the balance. was in the era of the dice wielders and like all eras it too would come to an end fading into legend and mystery Our story begins later, in Wandcroft, a small village populated entirely by people who have never once been dealt a fair hand. Attention, Wanners! I am the Queen, and my dark dice will decide your fate. Random rules! See that, Bernard? You're a sixer. Oh, wow! I'm gonna live in the Queen's Dream Palace for the rest of my- uh! nuh -uh, you're a dirty three, doomed to a life of fighting and misery. That's cheating! Well, so is having an almighty dice, snake eye. <coughs> Stop, you guys. Wrap this up. We should really get going. It's just a game, sis. Even I promised Mom and Dad to get you home. The Queen! Was that really necessary? Come on, hurry up! Now we really have to run! Odd, wait! Stay behind me, sis. We've got to run home and hide. Now!
even. That was incredible. Never do it, sis. Come on, let's get out of here. Random rules! Random rules! That's Nanny Fortuna. Works for the Queen, kidnapping children for her. Kidnapping? And so the Queen decreed that any child who had reached the age of 12 would be given the grand honor of rolling her one true die. Which would reveal to them their place in the world of oh random. God. Check out this secret portal. Bring me all of the children. Uh, it's uh, an old crawl space. It works for us. Nice work, Bernie. Let's go. All the queen's wisdom is as wide as her power, which is infinite, which makes it very easy for all of you to do what she said, since she is and ever shall be correct. And though you may feel a twinge of emotion when you watch your children move to their new villages, ensure that you are feeling the correct emotion, which is joy. Joy that the Queen's plan for us is so grand. Joy that her one true dice has deigned to fix the fate of your offspring. And joy, yes, joy, that today, her representative, me, the Nene Fortuna, has come to share. Even, Odd, where have you been? We've been worried sick. I'm sorry, Dad, I tried to. There's no time. She'll be here any minute. Quick, get down. Happy birthday! Oh, even. And I got a present for you. It's so cute. Make a wish. <laughs> and the queen said, "Every child of twelve years." shall throw this supreme dice, and so it was. For random is fair, random prevails, and random rules. Random rules! Be grateful, child, that the Queen herself is here for your special day. Now roll the dice, and let's see what kind of person you truly are. <gasps> no. <gasps> it had been settled. <laughs> At least, she'll be a sixer. Stop it! No, even and so, Fod's destiny came to be living by the side of the Queen up in the Sixer's palace, where it was said all dreams came true. But even his nightmare was just beginning.
more than a year had passed since her sister had been taken away from her, and in all that time, even had never dreamed like that before. He even knew she was now awake, and knew this was the same house she'd lived in her entire life. But something seemed off. Something seemed a portrait of Uncle Jinx. It was said he'd sailed the seven seas, and then drowned in the eighth. A painting of Aunt Cordelia. She could play every single musical instrument in Wancroft, which was impressive. But none of them well, which was markedly less impressive. An image of great, great, great grandmother Waters. She was the woman who'd invented sliced bread, which made everyone very excited. Well, before then, they'd just taken great big bites out of loaves. An image of great-great-grandfather Peters, 200 years ago. He ate all his clothing to win a bet. Even supposed that was the reason this portrait stopped at the neckline. Even's father never told her stories. He preferred reality to fantasy. The physicality of hammers and nails to the ephemeral mists of dreams and fantasy. Odd shoes, little parts of her life, still dotted their house. It didn't make it a happy house, but that was fine by even. She never wanted to forget her sister. Even's parents had locked the door securely, as they had every night since Odd was taken. These paintings showed stories Even's mother told her was safe to share, because they were true. Well, so she said, like the story of the card makers of Five Town, who'd suffered a horrible fate. Oh, it was still very late. Or was it very early? and even didn't want to wake her parents. The scariest painting Even's mother had ever made was of the Shadow Man, a mysterious figure who'd gobble up children who'd same stuffed animal she'd given Odd on the night she was taken. Even knew her parents would be heartbroken when they woke and found her missing. But she had to go. She had to know. distance from even. When she got closer, it moved further away. It was leading her somewhere. Oof. Easy there, even. What are you doing out so darn late? You're running like the old witch Uma put a curse on you. Oh, darling. You're trying to find your sister, aren't you? I'm afraid the past is the past, child. Ah, that spark in your eye tells me you're not fooling around. I remember being your age once, I do. And I know how important imagination can seem. All right, all right, I'll get out of your way. But don't tell your parents you saw me. 
deal? You're quite welcome, young Miss Even. And stay away from the outskirts. Wait up, please! Wait up! This was Onecroft, the world in which Even and her small family lived. Like all Warners, they hauled junk for the cargo ships that came and went in the night. All this labor was done for reasons that were never clearly understood. The Queen willed it, and no one would dare oppose her, and that was enough for everyone. Everyone, that is, except even. Come on, Burn, just hit it. It's right there. He's trying, Lucky. Aw, oh, shucks. Now I'm all out of potato. What are you doing here, anyway? Yeah, even. Are your parents letting you out after dark now? Aw, oh, that's so great. I know after Autumn had to leave, they've been more protective of you, and it's just so great to have you here to play, even. At least you're new. These two idiots are getting on my nerves. Hey, Lucky, that's mean! Aw, oh, shucks. I know I'm not the smartest, but I try real hard. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Wow, sensitive much? You guys are so touchy. We're playing. She was talking to me. I think she was talking to all of us. Even we're playing. We're playing hit the pot with the potato. Or rather, I'm playing. These two bloobs are just losing at it. I couldn't sleep. My 12th birthday is coming up. Mine too. Gonna get to roll the dice when it comes. I'm gonna be a sixer. I know it. I'll be saying bye to all you bloobs and hi to the riches of Sixtopia. I'm not a bloob. I'm a star. My mom says so. I'm not a bloob either. Uh What's a bloob? You getting a load of these bloobs, even? Well, that's just her bad luck. Not the sort of thing I've ever had to worry about. Really? How come? Because my name is Lucky, and... He meant how come even thinks it didn't work out, Lucky? Yeah, right. Like a sixer would ever care about her wanna. Please. It could happen. You don't know. I think it sounds mysterious. I love mysteries. Have fun with your cool mystery, even. See you later. You saw it, didn't you? There it was again. Uh, come on! Well, whatever that spirit wanted, it seemed to involve bringing even here. But why? City life. Oh, I must be so glamorous to be so cosmopolitan. So two sided. That 
strange figure even knew that her fate was changing, that her future was suddenly filled with unknowns, and she also had the distinct feeling that she wouldn't be back home for quite some time. even could barely make out what the ghostly figure was. It was beautiful, inscrutable, and there seemed to be a sorrow to her. There was no time to think. Even was either going home to her parents without answers and with even more questions than before. Or she was getting on that boat. She felt a pull, beckoning towards something new. Whoa, those are some nice cards you have there, kiddo. You find them yourself? Suit yourself, Missy. I ain't gonna force you into doing anything you don't want to. Oh, but before you go, a word of warning. Be careful out there, Missy. Tonight's the night the junk collectors come. His boat's here, and the guards over there don't let nobody close. The harbor's hiding secrets tonight, Missy. Are they load up the boats with junk? and take it to other areas around them. Though what for, I can't rightly say. Nobody who knows is willing to say, and nobody else can see for themselves. Everyone just keeps their heads down and does their job. Except for me. I don't do any of it. I'll never work for that rotten queen. This is safe travels. This ain't your home, kid. You don't belong here.
no, no, no. You don't get to come here. This is my reserve spot. You get your own. Now, go away. Who am I? Who are you barging in here demanding who I am? Oh, I'm even too. Even less interested in letting you in. Now leave! This is Herman's hidey hole! My little stowaway chamber, my realm of adlubescence that you're not invited in. It's my ticket out of this muddy town. <laughs> 